In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an animated SVG logo on Hover to your Squarespace website, just like this. Let's get started. Head over to your animation, and what you're going to do is make sure it first adheres to the compatibility table listed in this article. You'll want to make sure that there are no animations used that interfere with CSS only exports. So things like morph or move along a curved path, those won't work for this particular type of CSS that we're using. My animation here does not use any of those types of animation styles, so we're in the clear. It's also set to repeat infinitely, which is ideal if you have some sort of hover effect. You want that to loop endlessly, ideally. Go ahead and click export once you've made sure that all of your animations are supported with CSS only. You'll see that we actually need to export this animation two different ways. The first way, we actually need to change this to static. We need the static file so that it shows the SVG animation without actually any animation. That's what displays before someone even hovers over it. So I'm going to go ahead and export this as a static SVG file and just click export. Perfect. Now I'm going to export it again, but as an animated file. CSS only, infinite loop, perfect. Let's export again. So we now have these two separate files entirely. It would probably make sense to rename them or name them in a way where it's static and animated, uh, but I'll leave that up to you so you can kind of keep the two of them clear. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna upload these files to your Squarespace website. Uploading SVG files is not as simple as adding an image to your logo site settings. It's not the same thing. Technically, Squarespace doesn't allow for SVG files to be added to the logo area of your website. So we have to do this a little bit differently, but it's still pretty easy, so just follow along. What you're going to do is head over to the admin area of your Squarespace website and click Pages. Scroll down to the Not Linked section, click the plus sign to add a new item, and just click Link. What you're going to do here, you do not need to give it a name. We just need to click this little gear icon to add a file. This is going to feel very familiar if you've been linking in between pages or adding links within a page. You're just going to click File right here. And then you can come right here to Upload File. Upload your different SVG files that you have downloaded. So you'd want to upload this one. Let's go ahead and grab that. And let's actually click on it now that we've uploaded that as well and click save. And we have our link for this particular file. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it in an area so that I don't lose it for later. We need to come back to this. Okay. Now we're going to repeat that same step and upload the other file, the static one that didn't have any animation whatsoever. So same way I'll come right over here. I will upload the file open, click on it, and save this here. Again, somewhere like a text editor or a Word document, somewhere we can come back and grab that actual URL. You don't need to click Save, just go ahead and click Close. All right, now for the fun part, to actually make this animate on Hover. We're going to click back out of Home, go into Design, and click on to custom CSS. And in this article, there's actually some code here that you'll use. Make sure to grab the code that's appropriate for the template you're using, whether you're on a 7.1 template or 7.0. In my case, this is a 7.0 website, so I'll be using that code. What we're going to do is we're going to grab that and paste it in in its entirety here. So I'm copying and pasting. And we're going to make a couple of changes here. So you can see the insert the static URL. I'll go ahead and grab that one first. The static URL, as a reminder, is the one that has zero movement to it whatsoever. Let's paste that in where it says insert static URL here. Perfect. We have our static, non-moving um, logo already in place. And if I needed to adjust the size of this, I could. In my case, I'm going to leave it at 270 pixels, but Feel free to play with that for whatever number makes sense for your design. 
Now for the hover effect. When you hover over it, it then displays the animated file. So I need to grab the URL of the animated file that we just uploaded. I saved that so I can come right over here, copy, paste, right over the top where it says insert animated URL here. If I hover, it should start working and it does. That's all you need to do. Again, adjust the max width for, bo for both of those if you need to change those whatsoever. Thanks for watching.